And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here. And we have just traveled to the Hoplos Cluster by way of the Hecate Cluster. And we are here to do what is finally the final piece of the Firewalker DLC. So, we have already mined and scanned the planets in the sector here. We discovered the planet Talaria, the planet Trident, the planet Copsis, the planet Aegeus, or Aegeus, and please forgive my pronunciations. I, I know I have really butchered some of these names. I've, I've been listening to a few of my recordings, and wow, wow, people, that's really bad pronunciations. And I'm, I'm the type of person that makes fun of YouTubers when they badly mispronounce some of these uh, words and stuff in games, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just as guilty. Yes, these pronunciations. So I can't even see this um, planet here. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, being overwritten but anyhow let's go ahead and land here on the planet Makara Makara okay and Makara is a small rock planet Makara's thin atmosphere and high albedo whatever that is keeps it from being much hotter than it is the crust is high in sodium oxide, giving the planet a whitish tinge. Alright, we're starting the scanner. I don't think this is the right planet. We're not even on the right planet, people. Alright, let's, let's go. Alright, so... I think this... I have detected yes, an anomaly. Copsis is the planet that we're after. Okay, so Copsis is Makara's largest moon. Copsis is a desolate place with an extremely thin atmosphere. Its crust is largely silica-based and there are no signs of water. Like its parent planet, its high albedo, whatever that is, keeps it from being a total inferno. And when occluded by Makara, its temperatures can be nearly intolerable. Its low gravity can easily be countered by a vehicular or personal mass effect field for comfortable exploration. Starting scan. All right, here we go. Probe launched. I have found something. All right, anomaly detected. Prothean artifacts detected on planet's surface. Artifact site is protected by a powerful energy barrier. Scans detect muted mechanical signatures consistent with hidden automated defenses. Okay, I don't know what we're in for, but there should be a reward that is significant here on this planet, I'm sure after this lengthy, drawn-out DLC. Actually, the pieces were kind of short, but because there were so many parts, it made it kind of lengthy. Lots of travel. Anyhow, let's land. Starting to uh, ramble on like Morden. We don't want that. <laughs> He's a great character, though. One of my favorites. All right, we'll stick with our Cerberus squad. 
and again we have accumulated next to nothing as far as experience goes throughout the entire DLC so there's nothing here to level up yet weapons we'll keep the same ones and I, I just have to note that in traveling to these sectors and these clusters and whatnot there has been next to nothing as far as element zero goes I mean I've, I've heaped up huge amounts of platinum and palladium and iridium but element zero let's go I feel cheated Sources now. Oh, okay. Follow these cables. some mining we can do while we're here. Come on. Before they find us. Oh, element zero! I guess I just need to talk bad about it. And here we go. Alright, where's another cable? Here we go. Okay, what else? I think we got more enemies. Oh, uh, there might be more Ezo too. Oh, oh, oh. All right. We're all right. Zero. All right, so I see what they did here. They kept it off of the planets and put it into uh, these deposits or these chests, whatever you want to call them here on this mission. Geth or program for this bob and weave tactic that I'm using. And I probably didn't do this years ago when I played. I mean, this was like really hard, this mission here to me back then. Alright, how do I get up there? Structural damage. Please avoid collision with kinetic. Oh, barrier. sorry. got that one now I know there's one up top here how do we get up there oh
we jump that high? Hmm. There has to be... Okay. Yeah, there's a cave or something over here. some more Ezo, I'm hoping. Yes! over here. Alright, here it is. Kinetic barrier strength reduced. Kinetic barrier deactivated. Path is clear. Okay, I think we have completed the hard part. And that actually was quite easy. Wow, have I gotten better at playing games. <laughs> okay. Now, where do I need to go? Is down in here? Ooh, exit the hammerhead. Here we go. Okay, we got our Cerberus people with us. data pad, but it's not actually where I can pick it up. Oh no, it's a dead body. Alright, data pad. The sight is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those blue sun thugs hired to protect the dig site, we barely managed to erect the shield before the geth arrived. How can they know our movements almost before we do? Am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? I must find out how they're doing this. I shall ask Dr. Oloy for whatever help he can provide. Okay, so there's some more element zero. Was there another data pad or was that it? that sound? It's pretty ominous. To this journal. Dr. Aloy must have been indoctrinated by the Reapers. Indoctrinated? I found him sending our data to a Geth ship. <gasps> I won't be responsible for another Geth attack. Another Eden Prime. I've silenced Aloy. Forever. Well, so that's how it happened. He was indoctrinated. Let's examine this body. Wow, that's a lot of credits. I can tell it seems like another development team did this DLC because they're calling these dead bodies and in Mass Effect proper dead bodies are always known as corpses. I'm just pointing it out, just pointing out a little detail that 
you may have missed. All right, element zero, okay. All right, I guess we're gonna keep going. I can't get over, was it Dr. Oloy who was indoctrinated? Or was it Dr. Casey? Search terminal. Now what's this? <gasps> Biotic damage. So yeah, this is the reason to come to do this mission uh, as early as you can in the game, so you can get this uh, mod, I guess, for for biotic damage. If of course you are uh, like an adept or a vanguard. So yes, and we are. All right, here's another journal. It's too late for me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic. And myself. Alright, so this relic sounds like it must be... Reaper tech. Alright, here's another computer console to hack. Here we go. I guess this is a puzzle. Yup. Oh boy. Haven't done one of these in a while. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm stuck. like what we found in the original Mass Effect. Alright, let's uh, read this data pad. Wait, there's a corpse here. Dr. Casey. It could be Case, people. I really don't know. Casey, Case would never understand the deal I made with the Collectors. Wow, this just gets, wow, this is just so much here. He's obsessed with those Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen. Whoever Helen is. To ensure you remain safe, the damned Collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Prothean find. I can only hope you remained innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, Dr. Oloy. All right. Guess we're gonna approach this. The last time we were knocked unconscious and had some sort of dream or premonition. Yeah, I don't know. complete. All right, so Dr. Casey's research station has been found and a Prothean artifact recovered. 
a meager 125 experience throughout this entire DLC. It has been very, very stingy with DLC. We got a biotic damage upgrade, bio amp upgrade. So squad bonus 10% biotic damage. Okay, well, we'll take that. Credits, 7,500 credits. And we got 1,500 element zero. All right, let's head back to the Normandy. Hopefully, yes, biotic damage, hopefully. With the... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Yeoman. With the meager amount of Element Zero that I've been able to uh, accumulate during this DLC, that I will be able to apply the biotic damage. Uh, is this a prototype? No. Armor upgrade. Yes. Oh, this is my first upgrade for biotics. Okay. Oh, I'm wondering when it says squad bonus, what about Shepard? Is this a 10% damage bonus for him as well? I think it is. I think squad means everybody. Okay, let's see what we've got here at our private terminal. Okay, I think it's this. Prototype recovered. Good work on recovering the hammerhead. Oh, okay. <laughs> that prototype commander it will pr it will pr ugh. all right we'll, we'll try this again it will prove useful also the data you recovered from the msv rosalie's emergency beacon contained significant intel on a few planets that dr case and alloy investigated so we can move on from this uh artifacts cataloged and you know we did find the uh, Prothean thing here. I don't think there's anything. What is this alert security breach? Oh, okay. A disturbing fact has come to light. In analyzing the channel you used to transmit your findings, unauthorized transmissions have been sent from the MSV Rosalie to an unknown destination. It is assumed. That is how the Geth are tracking Doctors Casey and Oloy. So yes, well we know indoctrination and a deal with the collectors, all that stuff. None of it good. Okay, I think this is the, the last piece of the Project Firewalker. The burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threats we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert and not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Casey, Dr. Casey had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard. Okay. All right. We are done with our messages here. And we are done with, I guess it's called Project Firewalker in its entirety. Okay. Well, I thank you all for watching. And we will continue with more of Mass Effect 2. And this is Hill, and I'm out.